Okay guys, I'm going to do a uh, Sega review here. I, I'm surprised I didn't do this already because I, I have this game and I, I love this game. Um, I'm going to be reviewing um, Columns. Columns 1. So, let's get going here. Made by Sega. 1990. Now this came, th this probably was bundled with most most of the um, Sega Genesis systems. Uh, I'll let that little demo reel play, so it'll kind of explain. Plus, I suck at calm, so it's better for them to do it than me. I'm pretty good at it, but so all this is going on, all, all kind of um. I'll kind of see like like this is when they when they start showing all the stuff that happens. This will do most of the explaining for me. Now. One of the big downsides to to this columns, I think, is that it doesn't have like a um kind of like a story mode, I guess, like the um um like the Sega Ages Ages version did on the PS2. That one kind of had a story to it, kind of. But I mean, this one's cool just because you have you can do um arcade modes, which is just you just go until you reach until you can't. I'll play a little bit. And you can choose the easy, medium, and hard. I used to start on easy just because if you start on hard, it, it's really easy to get a high score. And this kind of tests you. So yeah, I'll show you some of my crappiness. But, um... And, uh, two players is kind of dumb in this, because, like, you can't really start in sync, so you might be a little bit of ahead of your, uh, opponent, which is kind of cheap. But then you can always do the other mode, and I'll show that in a second. That means it'll get faster, that's what I waited for. And it'll just get progressively faster and faster. And event sometimes the music will change. Like if you get too far to the top. And if you get too far into the like too like if you get to like level four, I think then the magic jewels don't come up anymore. But um like, eventually, if you get to, like, level 8, 9, or 10, it'll start slowing down again. So, it'll give you a chance to catch up to itself. But, um, okay, now I'm going to show you the other... Th this menu option. Now, this... This is actually kind of cool. I've actually never played double, so I'm not sure what that's like. But here's Flash Call. And see two players, they, they start simultaneously. So, so if you're gonna play columns, do it simultaneously. Like, like this. Because you start at the same time, it's more fair. Um, but as you can see, you see the, um, the little glowing orange 
Uh, you, you gotta try to get down to that to um, bust it. And whoever does it first. Like I said, you really can't win though, because, um, because of what you, what you do that, all you gotta do is press start again, and it'll just restart you. Okay, so let's show you what, um, the original game would be like. Now this mode I like. Now you're probably thinking, what's different about that? Well, it, it's not really different, it's just, it just, like, it's slower. Kind of breaks you into the game. It's kind of like a beginner's way of playing the arcade game. The, um, arcade mode. But, um... Okay, that's enough of this column. So overall, this column, that we give it a three. Just because, I mean, it's... It's not really replayable. Like, I play this when, I'm, when I need to, like, de-stress myself. Like, when I need to just clear my mind of everything and just focus on this. I think this game's a good stress reliever. Um, but multiplayer one, so it's pros. It's it's a nice stress reliever, honestly, and um, it's relatively cheap too. And uh, you can get it on the um, PS3 and 360 with the um, Sonic's Ultimate Collection. Also, the PSP has it with um, God, the Sega Genesis Collection as well as the PS2 has that as well. Um, but anyway. Another pro is it's it kind of gets you it ready to ready for um, more more co more columns like like columns three, which I'll get into that in the next review. But this is kind of like a beginner's um, kind of to columns three. Um, but the cons are two player is kind of clunky because one player can get ahead, it's not really head to head like it is in um the um uh, columns three. But um I really don't know what to say but like it's it's a puzzle game, I mean you just pick it up, you play it when you're done, you take it out of your genesis and freaking just put it in the box. Or if you don't have the box but I do. I I have a complete. Um, but um, so basically that's columns. Now next I'm gonna be doing columns three. So stay tuned for that. So I give this a three. The only bad part is I I, I will reiterate the good parts. Good stress relief for for, for and it's easy to just pick and pick up and play, and um. It kind of sharpens your mind a bit too. That's another good plus. Bad parts are um, multiplayer is kind of bleh. Um, there's no um, there's no like really good arcade mode that makes you makes you like get frustrated like oh this is hard. But it's just mainly just a pick up and play game. You don't really. Like, it's one of those games where you have to just have, oh, I want to play columns. It's not something you want to replay, like, every day. Like, like a God of War game or something like that. It's not something you, you want to replay or something like that. It's a puzzle game. Now, granted, most puzzle games don't have much replay value, but I think Columns 3 does it better, but we'll get into that in the next review, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. That was Columns. Released in 1990 by Sega. So stay tuned for Columns 3.